If you have a net and you fly fish, you need to watch this video. I want to catch a fish this time. Fly fish. Okay, okay we're going to talk about different ways that you can attach your net to your body or your pack or how you handle your net or manage your net when you're out on the water. The last thing you want to do is lose your net and have it somewhere in the woods and you have to spend an hour going back and finding it. So we're going to go through several ways that you can uh, manage and keep track of your nets. Okay, first off I'm going to talk about my net which I have on my waist pack, which is an Umpqua ZS2 Ledges waist pack. It has this fancy little uh, net holster in the back, but the which on its own would be fine. The little safety that I have is this net retractor from GearKeeper that will, so if it does come out, so if I'm landing a fish, I can grab this and then stick it right back into that net holster and I'm good to go hands-free. I don't have to be uh, fussing around with clips or anything like that. I simply pull it out, land the fish, back in the holster it goes. Okay, next we've got a new product from Umpqua, which is really cool wader belt. And this is called the loaded wader belt. It has, as it's configured, so all these ZS2 uh, products from Umpqua have the Molly system. So what we have here is a net holster, which again, you can take your net and it has this holster in there. It's tapered there so it can sit down and, and be seated. Uh, the nice thing about this wader belt style is that these can be taken off. You can have it with just the holster, one of the packs, the drink holder, um, or you can kind of move them around so maybe you like your net on the side. So this is a nice one. Again, we'd probably recommend a net retractor with it if you're going to use it so that you don't lose your net. Uh, pretty much the common theme you'll see across all these uh, little net hacks is that we use uh, net retractors with. Okay, so what if you're not a noob like Curtis and Lance? What if you catch big fish or what if you're a guide? How do you handle an unruly long-handled net like the guide net from Fish Pond or the lunker net with a 24-inch handle from Rising? Well, these are hard to, to attach to a net retractor and they're hard to hang from your back. So luckily a lot of the new products nowadays have net holders. So as Curtis showed you, a lot of the new products will just have a holster like this that you can just take your net and slide it down into. So it'll hold your net nice and snug, easy to take out. So as, as we've already shown you, a long handled net is more conducive to something like this that has a little net holster. This is also a much more simple way to, to hold a net on your waist is the, the rising, the answer. It's made for their nets. So you just strap that around your waist and we'll keep it nice and snug and you'll be able to access your net without having to drag it around behind you. Also with this, this rising net holder, um, you can change the angle of the actual holder. You can see that it's canted a little bit so when it goes around your waist it's going to be to, the, to an angle. So if you're not a very tall guy, like some people that I know, you're going to need it at an angle. You can do it either angle, or you can just make it go straight across and have the neck go straight down. I find that if you're walking or hiking with a long-handled net, and it's going down right between your legs, and you move a little bit, it can kind of hit your legs and be uncomfortable. So having it go to one side is definitely a good thing. Waist packs are a great option for fly fishing. But how do you hang a net from a waist pack? Curtis showed you his that has a little, the net holster on there that's really cool. But I've got a way that I've done mine. We've done a few videos on this and people have asked, how do you hang your net horizontally behind your waist pack? So as you can see, I've got a net retractor here and a magnet that I've lashed on to my waist pack on this side. So when I land a fish, I can just take it off scoop the fish, you can see the magnets here, and then I can just put it back on the side, and that way it'll keep it from dragging behind me and hanging down too low. All right, on my pack, I use a retractor style, so my net is attached at the back of the handle. That way the net easily just hangs behind my back when I'm fishing, hook a fish. When I'm ready to land it, I simply reach back, grab the net. You can then land the fish, and when you're done, you can take the fish out, let it go, and it just retracts back up. One hack to this is you can pull the retractor off to one side, then the net kind of hangs at your side that you're going to use with, you know, with, for the hand that you're going to use to net fish. If you don't like it there, then you move it back to the center or off to the other side, either direction, 
uh, really easy way to connect a net. It does take a little getting used to because the net will kind of bounce. It's not connected in two places, like on Cheech's rig where he's got a magnet on it. This just bounces. It's free. I enjoy that because it's just real quick and easy access to the net. So a few of the most common connections that we use for our nets are the GearKeeper retractor. This, this net retractor is designed specifically for nets. It has a lot of uh, power in the spring, so it returns your net up even in current. It's got a heavy-duty clip. They're really, really durable. Probably the last retractor you'll have to buy. And then also popular are the magnetic releases. So we have them from different companies, Loon and Dr. Slick. Both of them work. They have slightly different attachment types. But the magnets you can team with the retractor or you can also use a magnet by itself by attaching a magnet to the top of a net and then to the D-ring on the back of your pack or vest. That way you have a magnetic release that all you have to do is reach back, grab the handle, free the, the magnet and then you're ready to net a fish and then to put it back you bring the net magnet on the side and just clip it back on. It just uh, magnetically attracts and gets back to the the magnet on the back of your vest. So a couple of really easy ways to rig nets, both magnets and retractors, and makes it so you, you don't risk losing your net when you're on the water. All right, so one of the questions we get asked frequently after our YouTube videos is how I attach my net. Uh, Cheech and Curtis get the same thing, thus the, the uh, confidence or the motivation, I guess is a better word, to do this video. So on mine, I've connected the little clip that comes with the GearKeeper retractor, so it's included in the bottom of the GearKeeper retractor, and it has a split ring on it that I just take a piece of paracord and run it down the sides of my net, then I run some monofilament around it to hold it in place, and then I run a rod wrap, uh, wind grip makes some rod wraps that are kind of tacky over the top of the handle, so a, a standard frabial net like that would just have their standard black handle. So I just create a loop of paracord that's connected on the back that I then connect the ring to, I've also seen people take these same nets because they come with this bungee that's not very durable, honestly, but the, uh, the whole net is pretty inexpensive. So I've seen a lot of people just cut this out and then epoxy an eye bolt into the end of this. That works well. Also, then you can attach the split ring and then it just clips right into the retractor. So that's a real easy fix, a way to kind of uh, doctor up your own net to, to make it usable with your chosen method of attachment. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully you figured out a new way to uh, rig your net or maybe confirmed that you like the way you've got it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Curtis is going to put that uh, right about there, I think. And then just have a little bit of fun. Leave some comments for us in the, in the uh, down below on how you like to rig your net. If you have a special hack that we didn't cover, we'd love to hear about it. Otherwise, go fish.